how y'all doing? I got y'all been asking for her for so long, so I hope y'all excited. Sydney is back, y'all. I, uh, <laughs> I hope I have something <laughs> for you. I told y'all wind down Wednesday was gonna be good for her. She about to be talking some tea, okay? Let me take my first sip. I hope y'all doing good. I hope y'all having a good week. Y'all already know my little spiel. If it's not going good, fix it. If it's going good, make it go great. What kind of wine is this? Do you know? Freak show. This is Freak Show Wine. I it's forgot great. the wine today, so Sydney's on the wine duty. It's good? It's good to me. You don't like it? I ain't tried it yet. Cheers. <laughs> Let's try it. It's Cabernet. You don't like it? What, what you be drinking? Girl, expand your palate. Mmm. <laughs> it needs some... I don't like that kind of wine. What kind of wine do you... What you had? White wine? No, I like... Like, it needs some sugar in it. So you like sweet wine? Yeah, I don't like that flat shit. Mm -mm -mm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. Okay, I'm going to drink it, though. She be drunk, too. <laughs> I'm going to drink it. Our topic today. Lord. Would you rather date for love or for money and why? Okay. Y'all already been going crazy with the answers. Um, I haven't really looked at them yet, but we about to look at them together. We gonna talk about what we would rather do first, and then, you know, y'all know how this goes. We gonna see what y'all talking about. Am I just supposed to keep drinking? Or yeah. like, okay. No, it's literally like, are we just drinking and talking? Because I'm about to be done. <laughs> <laughs> you can have some of mine. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Yeah. Lord. Damn, not all of it. Okay. All right, love or money, Sid. Okay. In this day and age, at this moment in our life, 30. we are both 30, so this is a new chapter. We dating for love or money. Okay, so I'm gonna be <laughs> transparent. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I have both? I agree, but that but both is not an option. Both is not both an is answer. not an option. Um, damn. Like if you have to choose, like. This man loved me. If they or had a gun in my head, cool. it's definitely gonna be the money. But for me, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to find some love in there. Okay. Some love deep down in there. Okay. But you gotta have some money. I, I can't. I can't. So I chose you on purpose for this because I feel like you would be more so leaning towards. I know you love love, but you ain't playing about your money, baby. You also can't come around at a, this big age with no fucking money. What was the good thing that he was good at? Spending money. If your ex come up on that motherfucking bag, will you get back with him? And you know, I'm a sucker for love. So I feel like we both was like, you know, opposites kind of we could talk about it because I'm gonna go for love. Hopefully you got some money because I ain't trying to be broke out here. I mean, I ain't gonna be broke, but I ain't trying to have no broke man because I'm not trying to take care of everything either. So, well, I'm not going to. But... I love love y'all like it's I'm a sucker I grew up on Disney movies all them princesses and all them Prince Charming and all that that's what I grew up on I'm a sucker for love Aladdin didn't have no money but guess what he had for Princess Jasmine what do you have love <laughs> and then she put him in his little position then he was the king or the prince or whatever he was like I'm gonna go for love. Do any of y'all have a position to put a nigga in? Let me know. I mean, and I'm not saying you even <laughs> got to put him in you position. You don't have to, but shit, if you don't have one, then, then what? You gonna be resenting that nigga in your relationship the whole time. The only thing you gonna be doing is getting fucked good. Okay, so what if he don't have the money yet, but he on his way to having it? That's perfectly fine. Or he at least got like plans. We call that dating. Okay. I'm gonna date you. Okay. We can date, and I'm gonna date other people. Until you get it together. I'm not locking in with no nigga that's not locked in with himself. Okay. I'm not. Okay, now what if, this is another thing. What if he he make enough money to like, he living cool. You know what I mean? Like bills paid, he ain't hurting, he ain't struggling, he ain't wanting for nothing. But he don't have much extra to do I date a nigga else. like that right now. Okay. And he got a plan. He got a plan for his future. But he okay. is also younger than me. How much younger? He's two years younger than me. But it's like... I get it. I'm, 30 I'm is advanced. different. 30 is different. I'm advanced. So if you're still in your 20s, yeah, it's just different. I'm advanced. But how, like, would you say that his plans are, they look like they're really going to happen? They do. Okay, so I'm, I'm cool with that. If you if you a man with a plan and you love me, I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. Until that plan takes <laughs> five, to, five to six years and you're wasting my fucking time. Yeah. You're wasting my fucking time. There's a movie. It's called a fairy tale. It's time to move on. There's a movie. I forget which one it is now, but I want to say, like, 
the husband, they whole marriage, the husband was like trying to invent something or do something. Some oh, shit and the bitch ran time. over the, uh, ran into the, uh, the trailer and not the trailer yes. over when he was in it with the bitch. I know yes. what you're talking about. Yes. And it was because it's, it's like as soon as he popped off, like that wife that had been holding him down all that time, he wasn't fucking with her no more. So then like she had to turn cycle because... He went to go be with somebody Shit happens. Else. When you make those kind of decisions, you have to know that things like that can happen. Yeah, see, that's the only part about it is I love love, but I will go to jail behind my heart. Don't do not do that to me. Because I have no problem calling somebody, come bail me out. I just blew this nigga up. I have no problem with that shit either. I'll probably call her, to be honest. Mm -hmm. No, I probably can't call her because she probably done went and blew him up with me. <laughs> yeah. I'll get out of there and come get you. Now, <laughs> if you're not, now for me personally, if I'm not, if I'm at a point where like, you know, I'm just having fun right now, I'm not trying to really be serious with somebody, I don't see, I still can't say that I date for money, y'all. I really just don't be like, ooh, we got money, let me go talk for to for money, him. I can't date without it. And the thing about it that. is, I pay all my own bills. Mm -hmm. I live by my fucking self. Mm -hmm. I go to work. So now, what can you do for me or what can you do for us as a unit? If you can't do anything for us for as far as a unit goes, and you just got some dick to give up, <laughs> you there's gotta go. 10 million just like you that I can go deal with. I'd rather deal with a man that has something going on and something profitable and something that goes with a future. Like, you need a future yeah. plan. Like, you're not going to fuck me. Guess what fucking yeah. does? Fucking makes kids. And guess what kids cost? Fucking money. <laughs> so now what? That's true. That's now true, you don't have none and I got some. And now we broke because we spending all our money on the kids. Yeah. It's called struggle love. I'm yeah. trying to prevent struggle love. I don't want to struggle. And I don't want my kid to struggle either. My kid is going to be I black. Clearly, my kid is going to be black. They're already going to struggle. Your kid might be little 50%. They don't have some good hair. They still going to be black. Cause she like foreigners. Oh yeah, you're right. But they still gonna be black. I'm black. Yeah, I said half. Yeah. They gonna be me, baby. We could go either way. Mm-hmm. Money, love. I'm looking for I white men, by the way. Hit a white up. man? Oh girl, let me tell you the one, the Greek ones and the um, Italian ones. Hit me up, baby. Hit me up. Hit me Italian, up. I know. I've never what Greek. I don't know what a Greek man looks like. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think of like the gods and god like Zeus and them. No, girl, golly. I don't okay, know what no Greek man somebody. look like. I know what Italians look like. He own restaurants and here? stuff like that here. What restaurant he own? Greek I ain't ones? telling you, bitch. Greek ones? Why? Well, no. I'm go yep. with Paul. I ain't telling you. <laughs> <laughs> he fine as hell. I'm not telling you his name either. Get back. <laughs> Oh, he looked like somebody from one of them and shows I've been watching. Girl, damn. He, we will have a baby together. They making pasta. Oh, I want them. I mean, one of them. <laughs> and look at the kitchen. You know a woman loves a beautiful kitchen. They, wow, they really making pasta. They really making pasta. This one right here. Lord bless him. This fine ass. Fine <laughs> fuck. Okay. So I'm team love, but you got to have a love money or I mean, a plan. I mean, damn. I'm team love. I know. No, no. I'm more team love you're more team money you know what i mean okay, like you whatever. want money but you gotta have love in it or I'll i want love but i gotta have money yeah that's always alone. option too but damn that's a lonely like i have a fear of being old and alone y'all girl i don't care if i get too old i'm just gonna get me a little nigga i'm gonna buy him a car and an apartment <laughs> <laughs> and he gonna be my man, but he not gonna be my man. And that's just fine Okay, with me. you know what? Now that you say it like that, like it don't sound be rich so bad. As fuck by then, like. And we got enough nieces and nephews by now. Like we got people to take care of us. If, mm -hmm. if I don't have no damn kid, because I ain't gonna be no old mama either. So if I don't have one in the next few years, it's over with. Oh, I'm still. I'll probably adopt a kid. Yeah, or I'll adopt. I'm not about to have no newborn and I'm 40 something years old like I'm not doing that to my kid like my knees don't work no more I can't get on the fucking ground and play with you like I'm not shit. doing I'm that take naps and yeah stuff all like the time. they're like damn I got an old lame boring mama not knowing their mama used to be turned I'm not be being that mama having anxiety on the road don't want to drive yeah, nowhere not. I'm not being that mama so if I can't have a kid while I'm still pushing it out here you know like sorry about your luck baby I got nieces and nephews we've been there done that 
Hopefully they take care of me when I'm old. And if we do have kids, we got so many babysitters. So either way, it's a win-win. Waiting to have kids has actually been a win-win. It's just a little like, oh. Oh hey. yeah, and y'all get y'all ass ready to babysit my kid. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. I'm, I'm still looking for love, right? I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are okay. you supposed to be talking about? I was just about to say, okay, love or money. <laughs> I'm gonna have kids though, y'all. Y'all okay. will see. Look at all these. Y'all already know every week it'd be so many responses. Hey, I just know what I wanna say already. So it's Oh, fine. go ahead. What you wanna say? There is no nigga that I've ever dated that I didn't love. Okay. Right? Like you make a decision to date a nigga, you like, okay, I like this nigga. This is my nigga. Like you put the stamp on that nigga head, like boom, that's my nigga. Yeah. You love him. Yeah. But he did not not have money so it's weird it's hard for me to say that i'm dating for love or dating for money yeah. it's just i love a nigga with money okay so this is my thing for you i've say met you five got... million niggas with money who i did not love though okay say you got two in your starting lineup this is your two made it to the finals mm -hmm. one of them loves the shit out of you he got a little plan but he don't really have no money right now for like he he like y'all bills is paid but y'all ain't really going out doing too much because he got a plan but he ain't there yet but he loves the shit out of you that's Cur him. currently okay mm -hmm. second one he fuck with you you know what i mean like when you around it's cool but y'all he he can go a couple days or so you know without talking to you whatever because he's busy because he's making money he got all the money for you whenever you need something done handled whatever boom it's a check it's a cash app away and he fuck with you but he don't love you like that first one love you which way you going it's time to make a decision it's one of them gotta go decision and I got, one of them gotta go. One of them gotta go. Well, at this point, I'm 30 years old and I'm thinking for the future. So I'm gonna have to go with the, the person who is nearest to what I want. <laughs> and she the person, still won't answer. Which one, the love or the money? It's the money. Oh, oh wow. But I, hold on, no, but I love both of them. So the thing, <laughs> this is the catch 22, is I fuck with both of y'all or I wouldn't even be here. True. So with that being said, What's my nearest goals? A lot of women get caught up trying to stick by a nigga. And you can stick by a nigga and things could be good for four or five years. But once a nigga gets on his high horse because he been low for so long, mm -hmm. you ain't that bitch for him no more. Mm -hmm. Now he looking up past you. So that's now so you going you gonna to catch yourself on that fourth year starting over. Yeah, that's so fucked up. When you got a nigga that's already there in his life and he's choosing you. That is true. He's already there in his life and he's choosing you. So he's less likely he's to choose to an another extent. bitch. Well, to an extent, but that's how I'm gauging how he's choosing me. Like, okay. we moving in together. We stay no, together. No, see, so in my head, the one that loved the shit out of you, y'all live together. Y'all sleep in the same bed every night. That's like, he's that man. The one that don't, that he fuck with you, but he got money. Like I said, he could go a couple days sometimes without talking to you. That means he not around making his money or, you know, doing what he do. What, what he's doing what he doing. does. He's doing what I love him for. Being stable. <laughs> he can't be in my face all day. Not fucking getting no money. You got to let a nigga go, go spread his wings. Well, what I was saying was that he's not the one that come home every night. That's what I was saying. Okay, so he cheating. That's no, not even... Because this probably, nigga, any nigga probably. I deal with is coming home every night. Like, don't ever, don't ever play with me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to die? <laughs> you want to play? Yeah, I need that skin to skin sleep. If you can't come home to me every night, like, I'm cool. But think about me. Like, I work at night into damn near six in the morning, so I'm not coming home every night. Yeah, but see, that's so that's a good thing about living with your man is because when y'all have two hectic, busy lives... It's hard to make time for somebody. Like, say y'all don't live together. I'm so busy all the time. You so busy all the time. When you finish, you go home, go to sleep. I do the same thing. We never see each other. If our home where we go home and sleep and chill in those moments of not having busy time is the same place, I'm going to see you. That might be where we got to fit in our time. You know what I mean? But we're going to spend our time. If we don't live together and we both busy and we just never make time for each other, that shit ain't going to work. Not for me. I done pee on shit before for a nigga. Mm-mm. And I, I love the nigga that did not have a job and he was living in my house before. I'm terrified. Yeah? <laughs> I'm traumatized. I don't want to do that shit again. So this but other, what about other it? alternative what about it? is you, my choice. What about it traumatized you? Like, what was so bad about it? 
what traumatized me was is that I loved a nigga so much that I was getting up and working my ass off and paying all our bills Ain't no shit. to still have a nigga call my phone and check me about what I'm doing, where I'm yeah. at, where how I'm relieving my stress out with my homegirls, anything. <laughs> that shit is wild to me. Yeah. I'm stressed the fuck out. My account is stressed out. My physical is stressed out. My mental is stressed out. And then all you got to offer me is dick. And then, what I said earlier, dick makes babies. <laughs> so you want to make a baby with me, and you don't have nothing to offer me or the baby. Now we are in a traumatized situation. Yeah, that's a, like We are a, that's looking like to a, the government for assistance. A cycle of struggle. That's not good. I feel you. That's not good. I just want a man to want to be a man. True. And when I say with money, that could be a million dollars. That could be 500K. That could be 20K. Something saved up something that made you think you know what one day i'm gonna find a woman that i love one day i'm gonna have kids one day we're gonna have to buy a house we need money for all that shit yeah see now that's where the man with the plan comes in because a lot of these guys ain't thinking about oh i want to buy a house i want to they not thinking like that. thinking like, my baby is gonna have to go to yeah, college that should, they don't think like, and that blows my mind like we're at that age where that's what we're supposed to be doing thinking about planning for like where the fuck is y'all at? Y'all still worried about the club and what which bottle to buy? That's not the good ones, y'all. Not like, attracted. Not mm -mm. attracted at you all. Got, we at the age, you need some stability. You need a plan for your future. You need to be ready to, like, you don't got to settle down now, but you got to see that shit coming, you know? Like, yeah. we done been there, done that, ran through these streets. Like, we done did all that and shit. And we can like, do it together. Yeah, Jade and, and I can go it. out and buy a section. We don't need you to do it. Yeah, so. <laughs> what? Show me something different. Like, uh, point that I'm at in my life like I need some stability I understand a girl that's in college that's having fun and learning love and you know you ain't really had to take care of things before there yeah. are women out here that are paying seventeen hundred dollars in rent mm -hmm. and then that's before they eat that's before they drink that's before they put gas in their car health insurance you know send shoot your mama and your daddy some money yeah. get your hair and your nails done you're a broke ass bitch after yeah. that so what the fuck does a nigga bring to the table that's true. You're a broke ass bitch after that. And then let a nigga fuck you and make a baby. That's something. Y'all broke, broke. Girl, okay, let's get to these because you about to make me change my asset. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't be broke, fuck broke. love. I need some money. <laughs> I love you if you got some money. I can find a way to love you. Yes, it's okay, so <laughs> most of y'all said love. I think that some of y'all is lying. I think a lot of y'all feel like her, but y'all just don't want to say it. But now that she be saying it and breaking it down, like she don't be wrong. I agree. Like, damn, I might want to change mine to money. Because I ain't, I love you, but I'm not trying to sign up for no life of struggling. I'm not. And my kids damn sure ain't. Like, it's just a repetitive cycle. Like, yeah. don't we want to but do you better know, as funny? a generation and as just like a minority yeah. that already thinks we ain't shit? So we just keep doing shit to make us look like we ain't shit? True. You're right. It's crazy. Let's go to school. Let's get some money. Let's save that shit up. Let's invest. You're right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you no, know, you're right, though. Okay. Love, y'all can make money together. Love, because what if the money run out or get low? You can make more. I loved a nigga for two years and he sat on my fucking couch and smoked weed and I got outside and got the money. Okay. And we were supposed to get the money together. And did your money run out from doing My that money, now? what? I had to sell my house. <sighs> Fuck love. I'm tired of trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let, let's take it there. You said y'all want to take it there. Okay. I might need the money, baby. What K Camp say? That money, baby. Money, baby. K Camp tried to tell us. He tried to tell us. That's my actually ass. my friend, Hey K-Camp. Hey K-Camp. <laughs> that money, baby. You should have did a remix or something. <laughs> it could go I in our head a little more. if you want to hear it. Oh, I do. <laughs> no. I... No. Okay. <laughs> Love trumps everything. If someone truly loves you, money isn't a major thought. Until y'all outside broke, cold, and hungry. Because I agree. I feel like that too. But realistically, you have to think like, yeah, that sound good until y'all got to pay rent and he ain't got it. You ain't got it. Or y'all both hungry and y'all ain't got it. Or something comes along that needs some money and he ain't got it. I will say this. If I'm sitting on, if I was sitting on an M, not no little pussy, 200K. If I was sitting on an M, of course, I would probably change my views and help build a nigga up. But think about seeing a nigga at eye level. 
seeing a nigga at eye level where y'all both trying to build it up and y'all both trying to save up. Mm -hmm. Who takes the biggest chunk out of y'all day to day? Who pays the most bills? Y'all going 50-50? That's like the question for me. Look at yeah. her doing that ass. She is the damn male lady. Look at her. <laughs> look at the male lady doing Look at her. <laughs> she look like she on the phone dating for money. Girl, she look like she over it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We over Oh, it. yeah. Probably love he ain't got the money. She mad. She carrying that cart around like that. She mad as hell. Look at her. Mad. Damn. And she just hung up on that nigga. Ooh. Ooh, she did. Exactly what I said. No, 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 no. You can learn to love these niggas that know about family. The rich niggas, somebody taught them to save this money. That's true. Somebody taught them to save this now, money. Now, I will say, a, a man with money that I feel like you have smart, like, abilities behind you, like, you know how to keep it, save it, maneuver, you know, you have a business mindset. That's good to have. I do say that. Somebody taught them that. They had a male figure yeah. in their life or they was so hard coming up that they knew yeah they didn't want their kids to come out like that and yeah. they didn't want their life to come out like that true these other little suburban niggas i don't know what y'all got y'all parents <laughs> were god bless them <laughs> somebody said both see okay and it's a nigga isn't it mm -hmm. yeah love them built to get money together that only works in college, mama. It only <laughs> works in college. When you're 30, that does not work. Yeah, when you when you in college, that sounds good. Like, let's build, let's get this life together. Because you At understand. 30, this life is supposed to be together, or getting together. Love because you hope to find a relationship. Er, skirt, you're a fucking emoji as a dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> both, I feel like a marriage is also a financial contract and people don't like to admit it. Yeah. And yeah, she said, marriage? I'm married now, by the way, which lets you know she done damn came up out of her damn savings for a nigga. <laughs> and a nigga put it back in there. <laughs> That's how this works. Marriage is definitely, I do think that marriage is a contract. So, like, finances, when it comes to marriage, that shit matters ten times even more. Because now it's like we really locked in, locked in legally. If you ain't got it, I got to have it. You know? Like, that's different. Depends where you're at in life. If you're in a bitch just have era or are ready to settle down era that's true if you're just having fun the money is cool you ain't really thinking about love if you at our stage where we getting older trying to think about families and shit like that it matters a little well both matter a little more i feel like i can only think of a time where i did not care about if a nigga had money and that was high school <laughs> and college and a little bit after college because i mean went to college Bought a house, moved my nigga in with me, and it was just, it was fun, but it just wasn't, it wasn't prosperous. Any, it wasn't yeah. going anywhere. We were just getting by together. Yeah, and I've definitely not, done that. I've definitely been there and done that, too. It's, it's like, it's cool to have company, but it's like, damn, we, we, gotta, we gotta get out of this shit. Money because a nigga ain't shit. Hello. Thank you, XOXO, K Shay, period, period, because <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm telling you, a nigga will leave you if you have all the money. A nigga will leave you if you have none. Mm -hmm. There go another money. Money, just be single. Ain't no real love out here anymore on oh, God. Because let me tell you what a rich nigga gonna do. At least he gonna tell you that he gonna deal with other bitches. Or he gonna tell you I'm gonna be outside. Not saying you gotta love it or care about it, but respect the honesty from where a man is in his mental and the amount of money he not made in life. I don't like that. If I, don't I like gotta, that shit if I gotta share you, okay, this is my thing. I don't care if you got the love or the money. If I gotta share you, I don't want you. Period. So this is one that's interesting. It says I'm just dating to have fun. We have to go back and forth with who's paying for dates. Maybe they're in college. I don't mind treating a nigga. Me either. I don't have a problem with it. I don't even eat steak, and I'll buy a steak from for a nigga. I don't, I definitely don't mind, like, I love planning shit and doing stuff like that, so I definitely don't mind, like, taking care of shit I sometimes. Don't I don't care. That ain't never really been, like, a... I got Delta Sky Miles and all that shit. We can go, baby. Her. We can go. Yeah, I don't, I, I like doing go shit like first. that. Yeah, that's the thing, is as long as you're doing the shit, too, or doing the shit first, or we, you know, it's reciprocated and it's mutual, I have no problem planning days. You said money at this point, love don't love nobody. She tried. What she's saying is she tried to love a nigga for who he was. <laughs> she's saying she tried. And this so now she's saying money. Now she sees something different for her life. I love a nigga with money. And I a agree nigga with that, that girl is love. 
a nigga that's generous. Like, not just all about him because he got some. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to cash out on me. We don't have to buy Chanel and shit every weekend. But just know, why is the fucking lights off? No, or, okay, this, why is is my, fuck, this, is, this like, is where money will be a thing for me, kind of. Because I don't make too much of a big deal about nothing all year long. Even in my last few years when my birthday come, I don't make too much of a deal of it. I just told you yesterday, my birthday on Saturday, she said, whoa, you ain't been talking about it this year like usual. I haven't. Mm -hmm. But if you are my man and it's my birthday and you you like fail my birthday like you ain't if you ain't even got money like that i don't need you to take me to fucking to the to indonesia or something like that but like if you don't put nothing into my birthday it's over with oh yeah like, the way a nigga treated me on my just past birthday in which he showed up which i asked him not to come because i don't be wanting bitches all in my nigga face I everybody at my birthday don't post to know who your nigga is but anyway <laughs> um <laughs> I already bought six bottles at my birthday, and he done came and bought one, and then we went to the next place, and he bought two, and it was just like the whole, I don't need a bottle, I need a gift. Yeah. I need flowers. Yeah. I need affection since you're going to be here. Yeah. I don't need no more alcohol. These bitches already drunk. I already paid for that. Yeah. No, That's I where feel the money that. comes in. I feel that. Because you, what you be doing? You be renting out restaurants. You be mm -hmm. designing it. You be having your own menu. That shit costs money. It costs money. Come with Especially in this city, if you want a private room in a nice restaurant, it's like a $3,500, $4,000 minimum for that room. And that's no decorations, no nothing. That's just the minimum that you got to spend on food for that room. So if my birthday is here and you ain't doing nothing for me for my birthday, that's when I'm going to really have an issue. So this the one for me. Depends on the age. If you're past 30, 35, definitely money. <laughs> I feel that. I mean, damn. Yeah. Because we have so many things that we care about. Like, when you in high school, when you in college, you still on your parents' health care. Yeah. Now you got you still on your parents' yeah. car insurance. Now all that shit is all the way on us. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. 26, turning 26 was the Oof. most shocking age. Like, that's when I really was like, I wait. Hold you. Wait, I don't have health care for go, I can't go to the doctor no more right now? Like... Wait, what? I was so excited to be able to rent a car at 25. For what? I got a car. I've been had a car. I was so excited to turn 25 because there was no limitations after that. 26 come, all my shit is ripped everything away from dropped. me. Everything dropped. Yes, everything gone. 26 was like, okay, whoa, can we please make it 36? Like, damn, you I'm not ready. You could be dying. Anymore. You don't even want to call the ambulance because mm -hmm. it costs $2,000 to get a ride to the hospital in Atlanta. Hospital could be up the street. Girl, don't get me started. Yeah, I'm dating for money. Two of those. You know what I said? Listen, I'm not telling people to date for money. I'm just telling you to be mature about yeah. where you are yeah. in life. You know what you want. You know what you pay for. You add your bills and your money up every month. Why the fuck would you get in a situation that's going to make it worse? That's true. I agree. Be alone. I agree. And right now, that's why I said I'm dating. Of course, I'm dating a guy. I am. I adore him. Mm -hmm. I adore him the way he thinks and what he's working towards. I hope he fucking gets there. <laughs> if he fucking doesn't, then I'm getting the fuck on. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck on. Love, because money doesn't buy happiness, but you can't be broke broke either. Money, wait, love, because money doesn't buy happiness. Money don't buy happiness, but money buys a lot of things that make me happy. So I don't really know... I feel like money does buy happiness. It don't buy true happiness within, but it definitely buys a lot of things that makes me happy. Fuck look at me that. changing up. Look at yeah, me. I know, look girl. That's what I'm money. telling you. I'm ready to black on this right <laughs> look here. Look at me going for the money. Uh, it said love because money won't always be there once it's gone and the relationship is over. We didn't say stop getting your money. Yeah. We didn't say stop stacking up your paper. What is you talking about? Look, love, love because, because money won't always be there once it's gone or and also, why won't money always be there? I don't like a, I'm good this week and I'm, I'm off the next week and I'm up this you, week. That, that's I'm a you problem, like mom. That. That's a problem for you. You have a problem. I need some consistent money at this age. Yeah, nobody said don't stop working. Nobody said stop working towards your goals. Get your money for sure. But don't have a nigga that's not doing the same thing yeah. or better. Yeah. That's crazy. I and agree. she a mom. Love them, build and get money together. I'm with that yeah. during the dating stage. Yeah. You're not my man. Let's build and get money together during dating. Yeah. Not be together. Don't move in with me. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. 
love i got my own money love you should always have your own money to fall back on i feel like we touched on that of course you want your own money but you do not want to be you don't want to end up being the only one paying for everything taking care of everything of course you want your own money you're gonna have your own money but he gotta have something or you're gonna be paying for everything well, my thing is this. If you love a nigga, you know you're going to have to pay for something. But, I mean, everything all the time? No, not all That's the time. That's what I mean. Everything yeah. all the time? No. Nah. I don't mind paying sometimes. You know what I mean? I don't mind going half and half. I don't mind sharing responsibilities with my man. I don't mind none of that. But if I'm always paying, always, it's always on me or it's not getting done, I'm not doing that. No man, more. listen. I'll take a nigga out on a lit date. After you done took me on like three lit dates, me three too. four lit dates, I, like, I got I like you. Planning vacations, all type of stuff. I like you know how many going, people we know. I like going above and beyond. Like I've taken a guy on a date to a a, a Give On concert. Yeah, I took Treat Truck Daddy. He from New York. I took him to his first concert, his first two concerts. It was Jay Z and it was a Bad Boy reunion. Concert. I could have went with my friend, my though. New York, my New York boyfriend at the time. Like, come on now, we do good shit. Jay Z and Bad Boys. Love, I'm drunk. <laughs> they probably answered it last night because I posted it at like 2.30 in the morning. And I want to say she did answer pretty quick. I she, saw when she was posted out it. lit. Everybody's saying love. I hope y'all fucking find it. I hope y'all fucking I'm gonna find, find it. it. And I'm going to find my love. And my love is going to have money. And we going to have money together. Like, watch. I'm going to get money. Like, if I get to the money before my nigga do, that's fine. But you still had to have came into the situation with a little something. Yeah. I, I don't agree. give a fuck. I agree. I don't care. I agree. All right, y'all. So that was Wind Down Wednesday for today. <laughs> Love or money. She done got me switching a little bit. I'm kind of crossing over to the money side. I don't think lie. there's a such thing, y'all. There's a fine line between love and hate. And first of all, you're going to always hate a nigga that's broke. True. So remember that. <laughs> so to love, to money, hopefully we get both. If not, we're going to be by ourselves. Go ahead and prepare your <laughs> mental now. <laughs> Make sure that y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell notification. If you want to see more Sydney, let me know in the comments because I will have to drag her, but she will be on here because I love my friend. Thank you for coming, Sid. Oh, course. so usually on Wine Down Wednesday, at the end, I finish my wine. I can't finish We're going to chug it. Yes, you are. You because can. Because I'm tipsy as fuck okay, now. So and let I me have give to, you some absolutely more. not. You gave me, you're going to chug that. Okay. <laughs> chug. You got a longer way to go than me, baby. Keep it going. Uh -uh. Damn, don't try to taste it. Just damn. Just. Oh, wait, babe. You know what to do. Come on now, throat goat. And now that don't taste like this. No, it don't. Tastes but it's better. okay. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, baby. It doesn't taste better than you, baby. <laughs> I'm finishing my shit. You see that? You see that? That posture? Hold on. Let me show you. Mmm. 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 Speaking of posture, do you know I think about you literally every single day? Damn, I love it. Like, I know I know that sounds crazy, but every single day I really do think about you because anytime I pop up still, like, to sit up straight or fix my oh, posture, yeah. I always think about you. My mom used to slap my back growing up. Girl. You used to pinch my back. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, y'all, Sydney is going to be the reason I have a straight back if I do. Because for years, if I was slouching, or like, because I tend to slouch, if I'm slouching, she pinched the fuck out the of my back. The cutest outfit is ugly when you're sitting like this. I you think about this girl have your every day. sitting up so perfect and everything, and you sit like this, and they're gonna be like, you know, look at you how the nigga looked at you in uh, Love and Basketball when the old girl was sitting like this. <laughs> like, uh uh. And you're right, but I really, I dead ass think about you every single day. As soon as I sit up straight, I'd be like, Sydney would be proud, or Sydney would hate that I was sitting like this. Honestly, it's uncomfortable day. as fuck. It is. And when I get the drunker I get, the lower I get, but I'd be like, ooh, hurry up, girl. Y'all saw my posture. Mm. I put it together. Mm. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> that was it. Make sure y'all tune in next week for more Wind Down Wednesday. Also, my birthday is on Saturday. I tried to go get a P.O. box because y'all keep telling me to get a P.O. box, but they're all full by my house. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but 
Worst case, I don't need any birthday presents. I appreciate y'all for trying. I will let y'all know if I get that handled. If not, it's okay. We're going to turn up for my birthday. Oh, I told them on Instagram, too, I'm doing something special on here for my birthday. Um, if you want to be a part of it, just send me a little video clip with birthday wishes. You know, you can email it to me or you can just DM it to me. I'll put all that in the description as well. But if you want to be a part, send me a video by Friday, please. Love y'all. By Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, by Thursday because we're going to be drunk by Friday. Yeah. I love y'all. Bye.